Capricorn, welcome back to Celestial Forecast. This is Carrie. This is your December 1st through the 15th Love and Life reading. But before I get started, I just have a few announcements. Um, I just wanted to really thank you guys for being the most highly viewed video from the last uh, batch of videos that I did. Um, I believe the last time I checked it was like over 21,000 views. So thank you guys so much for the love and support and for the likes and um, the amazing feedback that I've gotten uh, through emails. It, it really truly touches my heart and um, I, I, I am so appreciative of you guys, really, truly. Um, so that's the first thing and I wanted to thank those of you who have taken the time to book readings with me and the donations are much appreciated. Um, some of the messages that you guys have sent me and uh, this this is really across the board all signs that have taken the time to send me such heartfelt messages and how much the uh, readings have resonated with you and how it's touched your lives um, thank you guys I mean I, that does not go unnoticed and it truly is really truly truly <laughs> appreciated um, and the other thing that I wanted to mention is um, I am doing a free reading giveaway um, officially now that I've hit 10,000 subscribers and thank you all so very much for that. Um, so please, if you're interested in wanting a free reading from me, email me at celestialforecasts at gmail.com. I will be reading all of the, the submissions and I will be contacting the winner sometime in January. All right, guys, so if you're interested, absolutely send me a message regarding um, what it is that you're going through at this time. Why do you need a reading? Tell me a little bit about yourself. All right, guys, and I'd love to do this free reading for you. All right, Capricorn, so let's get down to business. December 1st through the 15th, love and life. All right. Let's see what we've got for you. So spirit and angels, please bring forth your messages for Capricorn at this time. What messages would they benefit from at this time? You guys had such a beautiful reading the latter half of November, and I hope that continues with your December reading. And remember guys, it's general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. And absolutely, if you are interested in booking a private reading with me, I'd love to absolutely do that for you. So please visit the info down below for my website and book a reading that way. But absolutely, take advantage of the free reading giveaway. All right, guys? All right. Here we go, Capricorn. All right, spirit guides, angels. December 1st through the 15th for Capricorn. We are starting off with balance. All right, so the balance card representing Libra energy, guys, and that is the justice card in the traditional tarot deck. All right, let's keep going messages please for Capricorn December 1st through the 15th please what messages would they benefit from at this time please bring it forward Ooh, way too many guys too many lots of messages wanting to come through for Capricorn wow we've got awareness coming through the magician very nice all right Let's continue. Two major Arcana cards coming through for Capricorn already. And they're both really nice, guys. Spirit angels, please bring forth more messages for Capricorn, please. Not too many. More messages for Capricorn, please. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. All right, here we go. We've got victory and success coming through here. 
Nice. Bottom of the deck here, guys, is the light card, which is the sun. Nice, nice, nice. I'm really feeling that the positive energies that are coming forth from the latter half of November, it's still coming through here, guys. I really do feel that you are really wanting to regain balance in your life. All right, uh, that is certainly continuing here. And if you are connecting with a Libra, guys, their energy is coming through here. So you're still wanting to regain the balance in your life, come into harmony, all right? Um, not only from your inner life, whatever it is you're going through internally, but in your surroundings as well. Um, it's still calling for you to have some lifestyle adjustments. And again, it's picking up off of those of you perhaps who are going through some sort of legal issue at this time, um, or you work in a law firm perhaps, perhaps you're an attorney or a paralegal or in that sort of field. Um, however, for those of you that are going through some sort of legal entanglements at this time, the balance card slash justice card does emanate the energies that justice will triumph for you. So whatever settlements you are hoping to come out on top, okay, you absolutely will, Capricorn, for sure. Um, it's calling for you to live a balanced life as well, okay? So there's if there's any parts of your life that are out of balance, this is just a reminder for you to regain whatever is out of sorts in your life. And I really do feel that with the energies coming through the sec this first half of December, um, you're gonna get your business in order, okay? So whether it's personal, whether it's in relation to a relationship, whether it's romantic in nature or just um, other relationships that you've had that have been a little bit challenging, I do feel with the energies coming through with this particular card that you're gonna work things out and um, whatever issues that you guys had encountered it's all going to be worked through okay and that you're going to regain balance once again in those relationships so it's also calling for you to uh there's a state of balance needed when determining a situation or issue so that's exactly what this is calling for um also with this card it's asking you to focus on reaching your goals okay so with the new year right around the corner and I know that a lot of us have uh, resolutions that we try to come up with towards the month of December, heading into January and onward. Um, that's certainly a focus for some of you guys wanting to really take this opportunity for 2019 to be one of the best years of your life. And I feel for some of you guys, that's absolutely going to happen. Okay, so it's also focusing on your health. Um, investments of time, using your time wisely, and trying to really understand the workings of destiny in your life and in all affairs of your life, okay guys? Because this represents that your problems will be resolved, which is wonderful coming through to the end of this year. So whatever challenges you guys had going on, um, whether it's recent or something that happened earlier on in this year, Coming to the end of 2018, I really feel that those problems will be nixed and it's going to be resolved. So I love it. That's absolutely wonderful. Now with the awareness card here, guys, which again is the magician, it's asking for you to create your own reality. All right. It's asking for you to switch directions, possibly a new career switch for some of you guys. Um, if that's something that you're thinking about or perhaps for those of you who are in business, it's also, you're coming into a very lucrative time coming through in this first half of December and that'll take you through 2019. So for those of you just starting out in a new business, you've got the ball rolling and it's you're headed for a very lucrative, um, very nice, positive energies heading in through 2019. Um, now with the Awareness Magician card, and I've said this many times, guys, you can accomplish anything that you put your mind on, anything. Whether it is finding love, whether it is um, being debt-free, uh, moving into a new house, 
uh, whatever, okay? Whatever goal is most important to you, with this card, you can absolutely accomplish it. You can manifest the changes that you are laser focused on. Whatever it is that you desire, you can achieve. It's a positive outcome, not only in relation to your romantic life, but across the board, guys, anything that you have your heart on. Um, anything that your heart is focusing on, you can achieve it. It's also representative of a, a great love affair. So for those of you who are single and have yet to find love, I really feel that this first half of December, you're gonna make some connections that are potentially of soulmate quality that heading into the new year will develop into something really solid, full of love, chemistry, is what I'm feeling here. And for those of you who are missing a soulmate and you guys are separated at this time, this could also be representative of a rekindled romance. And I feel for some of you guys, you've kind of lost touch with each other. You haven't talked to each other in a long time on feeling and or you guys have broken up and haven't been in each other's lives in a while. I really do feel that the universe will find a way to bring you guys back together and rekindle that romance that you guys once had. Now, this is not talking about relationships that ended badly to where there was toxicity or um, abuse or codependency, okay? For those relationships, guys, that's a done deal. It's over. I'm picking up energies from this that these are rekindled romances that you know they were your soulmate and life happened and you guys had to separate for whatever reason but the reason i'm not feeling is anything bad okay it could have been they had to move away or um it could have been for career purposes that they had to leave you whatever the case may be it's not a third party situation i'm feeling here and it's it's not any sort of betrayal or anything negative you guys just had to go your separate ways for whatever reason and life will find a way to bring you guys back into each other's circle and you can start anew. So I'm loving that, loving it. You've also got victory and success here, guys. Victory and success is representative of the six of wands, okay? Self-confidence, progress. So for those of you, once again, who have been looking for love and you have perhaps felt that you're not deserving of it or you just haven't had much luck in love, that's going to change, guys. This first half of December, just put forth that element of confidence in how you deal with your um, interactions, whether it's a new meeting, someone that you haven't met before, or someone that you've lost touch with, that you've perhaps missed or just haven't seen in a long time. Um, Absolutely, just have the self-confidence to put forth just a positive vibe interacting with uh, people in your life and that will absolutely bring forth an element of victory and success. So not only in your romantic life, this also pertains to how you interact with people at work, um, other relationships that may have been challenging. For some of you, I'm feeling that um, you haven't been seeing eye to eye with certain family members and uh, it's been a little bit challenging this year, I'm feeling. But I do feel that with this card coming through, things are going to be rectified and things are once again going to fall into balance, okay? So it's picking up off of that energy still. So that's nice. Now the bottom card here, which I love for Capricorn, is the light card, which is representative of the sun in the traditional tarot. Promised prosperity and bliss, guys. How fantastic is that going into first half of December? And I do feel that these energies will follow you through into the new year. Um, it's representing pleasure, happiness, and contentment in your life. It's representing uh, growth in all areas of your life, success and joy. And it's going to represent illumination in parts of your life that need clarification, okay? So if there's anything that 
you have been unsure about in your life, it, it's, it's time to really go within and really process um, the parts of your life that are working for you and the parts of your life that are no longer working for you. You're gonna know what you need to let go of heading into the new year, I'm feeling. This is also representative of a new birth and renewal of life. So for some of you guys, you may very well find out that you're expecting this, this month of December and or there may be a, a new addition into the family, which you may already be aware of. It's uh, truly the most positive card in the deck. The most positive tarot card that that's being represented here. And it's truly your moment to shine, Capricorn. Those energies are still coming through from the latter half of November reading that you had. Um, and that's continuing here. Um, yeah, your moment to shine. So take advantage of this time, guys. Um, for those of you who have had issues that you're dealing with where you really needed to find out the truth about a situation that's going to be illuminated here this first half of December and it's going to bring you peace because now you finally know how to move forward and how to proceed in regard to a situation where you were left in the dark, okay? And it's also going to show you that certain paths are emerging, so not only in relation to romance, this is also pertaining to career options for those of you wanting to pursue further education, that as well as coming through here, okay? It's accomplishment and or vindication in situations in your life. Um, it's also representative of marriage, unions, or mergers, okay? So I really do feel some of you guys may possibly be getting engaged this first half of December. You either already know this Capricorn or you don't. For some of you, it may very well come as a surprise. Um, yeah. And it's also coming through here, guys, that some of you have loved ones that have passed on and they are surrounding you at this time, okay? You can consider them to be spiritual guests this first half of December. And um, I'm feeling for some of you guys, you recently lost a parent, loved one, someone that you were very close to, and they are surrounding you with their love and presence this first half of December. So, wow, that's so beautiful. All right, guys, let's pull some um, Romance Angels cards and let's see what messages in romance the angels can add to this angels please bring forth your messages for my capricorns please bring forth your messages for capricorn first half of december first through the 15th what's up in love for capricorn What's up in love for Capricorn? First half of December, please, angels, for Capricorn. All right. Well, we've got children coming through here, guys. So as I was mentioning, some of you may very well be expecting at this time, or it might be something that you're not even aware of, um, and you'll find out shortly that you're expecting. Um, and also this is representative of children in your life that are very prominent. They offer you much love and joy, okay? And we are coming into the Christmas time, the holiday season, and um, this is a very important time for kids, and um, they're coming through here with their energies and love for you, so that's, that's wonderful. Uh, we also have bottom of the deck. We've got healing family issues here, guys. Um, so as I had mentioned earlier, those of you who don't, who have not been getting along with your parents, parent figure, father, mother, or both, that's coming through here, that this situation needs to be healed. Um, I am feeling positive energies with the cards that are surrounding it, that you will tackle this issue, and um, that it's something that's going to be resolved. Absolutely. So with the balance, awareness, and victory and success here, um, guys, as well as the light card, all of these issues coming through from the uh, family issues, for those of you that are dealing with this, it's going to be all right. You guys are going to tackle it, and it's um, going to be worked through and resolved. All right, so let's go ahead and pull some healing messages for you, Capricorn. 
Angels, please bring forth some healing messages for my Capricorns. First half of December, December 1st through the 15th. All right, guys. Healing messages, please. Ooh, hello. Explosion. <laughs> healing messages, please, for Capricorn. Sometimes I really feel the energies that they, the angels, really want to communicate so, so much. And um, these cards just fly out for Capricorn please I will take that all right we've got the trust card coming through here guys so the angels are absolutely wanting you to trust in the process of your life okay and as well if you have relationships where trust has been broken this is a reminder for you that Trust is a two-way street that it needs to come from you as well in order for you to look at the situation from a loving standpoint and in order to restore trust back into your relationships. Um, I'm not feeling any sort of third-party situation here. So um, in relation to those of you who may have had challenges in your relationship, um, I really feel that better communication would resolve this and that you will once again be able to see eye to eye in um, relationships where there were challenges and where trust was an issue. You can once again restore that. And it's it's interesting how the bottom card here, guys, for the healing deck is forgiveness, okay? And once again, dealing with the family issues coming through. So there's absolutely forgiveness that is needed in regard to that situation. And um, it's calling for you to not be a vessel of anger in regard to relationships that have had challenges, guys. Um, let it go. Let go of whatever is weighing you down in these relationships because you have absolutely 1,000% wonderful energies coming through here. And it's not worth it to hold on to any frustrations or anger in regard to these relationships. Um, better communication will i'm feeling resolve whatever issues have been going on here um, especially those of you dealing with issues in regard to a parent figure or both parents yeah that's what's coming through here so yeah just forgive the situation guys forgive the hurt forgive the individual okay not saying that you should forget what caused the rift okay those are lessons that absolutely should be uh learned from but you can absolutely move forward and gain wisdom from that experience and bring the trust back into those connections especially if it's in regard to family okay heading into the holiday season you want to move forward with a with a, a loving heart and I, I am feeling the energies here that you will resolve whatever issues are going on, Capricorn. And you're going to work through it. Once again, you've got victory and success coming through here. All right, you've got the Sun card. Most positive card in this entire deck. All right, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and close out your reading with some answers. So please clear your mind. Focus on a particular question and let's see what messages the angels bring forth by way of answers for you for the first half of December. So angels, please bring forth your answers for my Capricorn. What answers would they benefit from at this time? All right, guys, so focus on a question. Let's see if that comes through for you this time around. Answers for Capricorn, please, angels, bring it forth. All right. Ooh, look at that. In the near future. All right, well, in the near future is heading you into 2019, Capricorn. Um, and also, second half of December, I'm really feeling good energies that things are going to be moving for you in a very positive light, guys. So um, 
for those of you contemplating making a decision in regard to romance, I'm feeling that um, in this time frame, things are definitely going to be moving swiftly and um, you're going to know exactly how to proceed, okay? So if, if someone is coming forth with an element of deception, perhaps, I'm feeling for some of my singles, new connections, um, some of them will be good, some of them will be of soulmate quality, but not all of them. So just be weary of the connections that you're making, guys. And um, heading into this particular time frame, you're going to know whether it's something that's worth um, going forward with or something that you just need to uh, change directions. Okay, and it is interesting how that the bottom card is choose a new direction. So this is coming forward for my singles, I'm feeling, um, and even my couples who are um, processing a particular decision and you're not sure the direction that you want to go. This is asking you to have a bit of patience and a bit of a waiting period in order for you to decide what is a better option for you because the angels are coming through to let you know that you need to choose a new direction. Okay, that's for some of you guys. And I love how, once again, the card below choose a new direction is trust. All right, so that's coming through twice here for you guys, Capricorn. All right, so let go of any past hurts, any baggage that you're holding on to that's bringing forth an element of negativity in your relationships and in your life in general. Learn to trust in the process, turn it to prayer, go within, meditate and focus on the positivity that's coming forward here for you. And just uh, trust in the process, guys, because I really do feel heading forward into December and onto 2019, this is gonna be a very, very good time for you, Capricorn. All right, guys, so very nice reading once again. And um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back with more readings um, in the second half of December and I'm looking to change things up in 2019, so stay tuned. Once again, guys, thank you so much for the likes, shares, and subscribes and for the awesome messages that you've sent me privately. Um, again, if you're interested in participating in the free reading giveaway, send me an email at celestialforecasts at gmail.com. I will be announcing the winner in January. All right, guys, so stay tuned for that. Thank you once again, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.